how to prepare for geometry. Geometry is a beautiful section. I'm going to cover how should one go about preparing for geometry for all three exams. The indoor one, Rotak one and chip mat. And so, what, about, what is there inside geometry? Simple triangle and properties, then circles, quadrilaterals, polygons and the rest. Along with geometry come these three wonderful topics. Mensuration, coordinate geometry and trigonometry. All this we are calling along with geometry. The number of questions vary. The odd year, the, the last couple of years, the number of questions have been fewer. But it's still a section worth spending for, for two reasons. One, if you get the basic funda right, then you can amp up and get a bunch of questions right and save time on them. Two, God knows this year you could have a geometry field paper. It's a crucial enough topic. It's heavily tested across several exams. So important topic, interesting topic. So they could have a year where there are 20% of questions coming from just that. So definitely spend time on it. There's a sequence in which you should go. Don't jump and finish coordinate geometry before doing geometry. Don't do mensuration before doing geometry. Cover the basics in geometry. And why does geometry get tougher? It seems like there's lots of theory. And actually there isn't. And learn in sequence, build triangles and slowly build up the sequence. Keep in mind that when you're learning from fundamentals, there'll be a bunch of questions that you suddenly try that you don't know because you haven't done the groundwork for that. That's all right. Geometry is learned iteratively. You learn some theory, get some practice, learn a little bit more theory, get some more practice. And then once you've kind of rounded everything off, do a bunch of questions, have your backside handed to you because you don't know what theorem to apply where. And then think about and internalize that, see the solution, come back, revisit the theory and then get in. But finally, when it all falls in place, geometry becomes the juiciest, most fun topic. So it is learned iteratively, definitely hang in there. The payoffs are massive because it plays in place of payoff in geometry, trigonometry, mensuration and coordinate geometry. So it is exhaustive. There is a learning curve here. It takes a while to get the hang of that. You have to have practice and revisit theory, practice and revisit theory. The first phase, you feel like, look, I get the funda. And then you look at questions and understand the solutions. And then you probably go through a phase where you take 20 questions and you're not able to solve 11 of them. But you see those 11 solutions, they seem like the easiest thing in the world. That can and will happen. Right? That's all right. The time after that, you'll hit 16 out of 20. And that is a magical level. You don't need to go, go beyond that. Right? The topics are... Uh, interlinked. So you learn circles, you learn polygons. By the time you come to polygons and, and learn, say, the sum total of internal angles of a polygon, realize it is very closely linked with a property in triangles. And so, and, and so your interconnectedness makes your learning richer. And that, that builds in revision. And it, 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 suppose you learn topic A, B, C, and then you revisit A and then come back to C, everything becomes that much more clear. And so hang in there for that payoff to happen. Lovely. Knowing when to skip a question is useful across the board, particularly so in geometry, especially for those who think they've got the hang of geometry. Geometry sometimes can be beguiling, where you look at the question and you're like, oh, this much I am, I'm this close. And sometimes you can drag on and on and on after having missed one very simple funda. Could actually be a simple question, but it could drag too much, too long for you. So leaving the odd question if it doesn't fall in place, a magical trick, and particularly relevant for geometry because it always seems easy. How should you prepare for IP man? How do you use the 2IM course for, for IP man? And so there are more than 1000 videos covering theory and practice questions. And we have modularized the content brilliantly. So if you take a very simple topic like percentages, there'll be something that outlines the theory, a bunch of questions for uh, solved examples, then simple exercise questions to consolidate an idea, and some more theory, one more exercise, then a bunch of prep edge questions. All the tricky questions come with detailed modularized video solutions. You can click on one question and you'll get a video for just that solution. And the, the concept videos go in some depth. And they've been carved out really well. And so there's about 300 hours of coursework available covering the elements of learning and practice, an extensive drill, and then a bunch of mocks. And so make use of it. A lot, large parts of it is available on a platter anytime, anywhere, except the live class component. So whatever is available there, pick your timing, especially for IP mat. I know you guys are already battling seven variables. We don't know which exam is going to come when, which exam is going to uh, get postponed. I didn't want to use the word, but such, such a slight we have to use it. And we know you already have the, the specter of your board exams hanging in there somewhere. So since there are several variables, Squeeze in time for this whenever the variables accommodate that. Right? Uh, we have several questions of IP mat level of difficulty. Even within IP mat level of difficulty, the IP mat IM indoor tests are that much higher. We have questions for that. 
and for the simpler, slightly simpler root ones as well. And, uh, there are mock tests available and what we are actually pretty good at is this personalized attention. So you get the course, you ask a doubt in the discussion board, one of us will answer that. You have a, a query, you can ping us on WhatsApp, you can drop us an email. It's usually available to have a general conversation about uh, preparation plan, preparation strategy, what sequence you should do, all of that. So keep that in mind. We should uh, give it a go. As ever, there's tons of material available for trial. About 40 hours of content which is available on the platform that you can just sign up and check it out. Do check it out. Any queries, questions, get back to us as wishes.